Today we're on Capitol Hill, just east of downtown Seattle. This place has a rich history of music, theater, art, fashion, and also food. And it's the home of the Jimi Hendrix statue, Bruce Lee's grave. This place also boasts a big cultural landscape. Since the late 1960s, this place has been the hub for the gay and lesbian community. Today on Big Eat Small Spots, we are going to two of the great places that I think in Capitol Hill, which is the Kingfish Cafe that has delicious Southern food. It's like they brought the South to Seattle. And we also have one of the oldest coffee houses on Capitol Hill called the Bino Espresso, which has been serving up delicious, delectable, sweet desserts for over 30 years. So join me today on Big Eats Small Spots and let's have some fun. We are in the heart of Capitol Hill on the corner of Belmont and Olive where you'll find the B&O Espresso. They've been serving up sweet, scrumptious, delicious desserts for over 30 years. So we're gonna go inside and check it out and give you a little bit more about the B&O Espresso. Come on. Hi, I'm Jane Lucata, owner of B&O Espresso. I'm excited to let people know um, this is a wonderful place for desserts. Uh, how did you get into desserts? <laughs> I've always been into desserts <laughs> since I was a child. I've always baked since I was little. And um, actually, I just sort of fell into this business. I opened in 1976. I felt like Seattle needed a coffee house. Um, personally, when I wanted to go out in the evening, I often wanted to go out just for a piece of dessert. But you, at that time, you couldn't go into a restaurant and just order their dessert. It was awkward. Huh. So I thought, okay, Seattle needs um, a coffee house. A girlfriend of mine, uh, she liked to cook, I liked to bake. We said, let's do it. So what makes the b and uh, Cafe Espresso uh, unique? Well, I've always thought it was the pastries. And most people, when uh, they hear b and oh yes, it's the desserts. That's what stands out. Yes. And although we do breakfast, lunch, dinner, liquor bar, we're known for our pastries. I actually uh, came here for, I think it was dinner or a lunch, and um, we had, you know, the the hummus tower and it was and, mm -hmm. and, and just letting people know that when you come in here it just I don't know it just takes you to another place um, that's one of the the real big things that I do like about um, being at Espresso is that it it seems like you walk into a different world and and that's the exciting part for me and um, if I ever had a date I would tell you guys any of you guys out there this is a great place for a date <laughs> I really believe that it's, it's very romantic yes. in the sense that you know it has that that European feel to it. Um, and then, once again, we had the desserts and that was over the top. And the lemon chiffon is like my favorite cake. Um, mm -hmm. So. Yeah, it's definitely <coughs> a, a, a date place. Uh, we have people that um, gotten engaged here nice. and, and we make wedding cakes. So, um, yeah, it is very romantic. And so how did you, um, uh, you know, the name, the name, I just yes. I just recently figured out the name to a point, but I kind of wanted to hear you know um, how that came about. Mm -hmm. um, was it a long process, or no. was it just like <laughs> okay, boom, that's it, let's just do this? Yeah, no, it was basically a, a night hanging out with friends and brainstorming, and my one girlfriend uh, said, you know, because we're on Belmont and Olive B and O. And then since we were doing espresso, I thought, okay, espresso. And that's how the logo came about. Vienno espresso and the train and the logo nice. taken from Monopoly. I mean, it just fell into place and worked. Let's talk about food. Uh, Cause you guys have some great dishes here, some great food. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about your signature dishes? Okay. Um, 
Well, seven years into this business, I married Majid, and he's from Jerusalem, and he's the one that brought in all the Arabic flavor that's mm. in Biano, okay. the hummus and um, chicken shawarma and falafel, all the Arabic dishes are his doing. I've been coming here for about 30 years, and uh, the reason I keep coming back is because it's uh, consistent, it's fun, and there's no place like Vino. And this is just the perfect place to live right next to. It's got a Milky Way. Um, it's a delicious, scrumptious mixture of chocolate and caramel, and uh, they have the best cakes in town, and they are indeed um, one of the best Seattle spots. Be sure to come to Bieno Espresso on the corner of Belmont and Olive. If you got a date, definitely guys, bring your date, because they'll love you. We're at the corner of 19th Avenue East and East Mercer, the Kingfish Cafe. We're a couple of sisters. My name is Leslie Coaston. Hey, I'm Lori Coaston. Are cooking up a southern flair with an urban twist. They are definitely bringing the south to Seattle. Dishes like Good Glory Grits, My Way or the Highway Buttermilk Fried Chicken. Oh, that sounds so good. And they've got the fried chicken salad, which is very delicious. So let's go in and check it out. So give us a little history about the Kingfish. Well, we've been around for 17 years. We, op we started it. Um, it's the first restaurant we've ever worked in. Yeah, and, and you've never had any restaurant experience. As a matter of fact, I, we used to have a janitorial company, so we'd clean, clean office buildings, which is great. We, I mean, you know, it's okay. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we, we, uh, we did everything from run the company to clean the, the, the job. You know, we worked on the jobs. But um, I was thinking, you know, we'd, we'd done that for how many years? Seven? Yeah, seven years, yeah. seven years mm -hmm. or so. And I said to her, I called her one day, and I said, you know what we should do? We should open a restaurant. We talked about it years ago. We should, we should do it. It'll and, be fun. Yeah. And then she goes, you know, no. I, I, <laughs> that's a lot of, yeah, I don't know if I want to do that. We don't know anything about restaurants. We've never worked in a restaurant. And then I said, well, I was dating this guy at the time. I said, well, I'll talk to, his name was Gary, and see, maybe he wants to do it with me. And I was a flight attendant at that time. <laughs> and then I got dressed and went on my trip. And I think it was a two-day trip or three-day trip, something like that. And um, I came back and I had like, I don't know, 30 little notepads on my front door, in my kitchen, on my bathroom door. On the lamp, bed, on the, on lamp. the yeah. television. I'll do it, yeah, I'll do it. Don't ask Gary, I'll do it with you. Please don't ask Gary, call me when you get in. So yeah. Yeah. I called her and I go, okay. Yeah. I haven't even like, talked I think to we'd be better to get together than you and Gary. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. that was the beginning. Yeah. Thank goodness. Thank Thanks. goodness. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And the first five years is usually the hardest oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Of, of a restaurant. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. How was that? Oh my gosh. Yeah. The first five years was it was a ride. I mean, it was a ride. It was a big emotional yeah. learning curve kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. Yeah. It was just yeah. we, you know, just had to sort of uh, what was it go into the fire or definition of yeah. whatever. Throw yeah. yourself into yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. That, we worked sixteen-hour days every day. So. Um, Tell us a little bit about the name Kingfish. Um, it's uh, it's very unique, and, and I love I love the name. It's 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 fun. But uh, what, what, where did that come from? A friend of ours. Uh, he had a restaurant in Madrona, and we were sort of brainstorming. And you know, our before we even opened, raising the money for five years, talking to people was sort of comedy, and it was kind of uh, there were times we were crying because we thought we were so close and. We didn't get the money, and it was always this comedy of errors, sort of. And so he's like, the character on uh, Amos and Andy, his name is Kingfish. He was sort of an entrepreneur that stuff just sort of blew up in his face, but it always turned out sort of. But he was always scheming and trying to make something work. Yeah. Something happened. And yeah. he's, so he's so like, we're like, Kingfish. Kingfish, yeah. I like it. Yeah. And it sounds like he is. Huh? Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's how the name really started. Yeah. Nice, mm -hmm. nice. So, what makes the Kingfish Cafe unique? Uh, well, it's, uh, I think a lot of the people that are here, we all get along really, really well. And um, been, we've had a lot of people here for years. We've had some people that have been here since we opened. Yeah. And, so. and that includes front of the house and the back of the house. But, um, you know, we, we, uh, 
sort of the way we hire the front of the house, uh, servers, hosts, bartenders, is somebody's like, you know, my best friend is looking for a job or my cousin's, you know, roommate mm -hmm. needs a job. And, mm -hmm. you know, everybody sort of knew each other. And that's kind of how we started. Um, yeah. You know, we, when we first started, it was just me and my two sisters. We would host and serve. And uh, we got other people to come and serve. And, and then some people would walk in the door. And yeah. they would like what was going on. And yeah. they were kind of groovy talk. looking and talk yeah. with us. And stuff. So we were like, you fit. You yeah. work. Yeah. Nice. yeah. We like yeah. you. Nice. Yeah. yeah. You want to work here? Yeah. <laughs> so let's talk about food. Can you tell us a little bit more about your signature dishes? Some of our signature dishes just come from the people that work here. We'll sit in the kitchen with them and we'll say, look, we want some pork chops on the menu or we want whatever we want on the menu. And then we'll figure it out in the kitchen. So the kitchen's a huge help. And then there are some mainstays that everybody's looking for, fried chicken, gumbo, mac and cheese, that catfish. Cat, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Because we brought, or the way we do it the way we do it, or the way that we did it at home, or yeah. what we like. How it's always been. Yeah. And there are seasonal changes that we do on the menu, but those items, like if we tried to talk about like maybe taking those off and we just... Yeah, there's some things there's no just, way we can take, take off because yeah. people come looking for them. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah um, but we have a shrimp and grits, which is more of a lighter flair. It's um, fresh vegetables and it's uh, served cool. The, the grits are, are hot, but um, it's got a little bit of a kick. Really good. It's one of my favorites. Yeah. Um, we have fried chicken that comes with the summertime potato salad, collard greens. And then we've got the fried chicken in the winter and we just sub out mashed potatoes. With gravy with greens, mm -hmm. and then yeah. we have our fried chicken salad that at is, lunchtime. Yeah, at lunchtime that's really popular. We have our um, mac and cheese that's mm -hmm. really popular, and then our sandwiches then, at lunch too. Yeah. They're really filling. They're and then, plentiful. They're yeah. they're good. Really. And then we have the uh, beans and rice. Beans which and is rice. Good. Mm -hmm. And then we have the uh, strawberry shortcake that people call up months in advance looking for. Have you started the shortcake yet? <laughs> <laughs> it's <Anna>. December. <laughs> no. And then we have our sweet potato pie, and then our red velvet cake. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Those are really, pop really popular. popular. The woman who runs our kitchen is Kenyatta Carter. Carter. And um, she comes up with uh, quite a few of the uh, menu items also. And the she's, specials. She's and been that. here for or a long time. Years, 14 years. Yeah. So, yeah. And that helps. And that keeps us unique, I think, too. You asked the question, what makes us unique? Mm -hmm. um, you know, keeping it consistent has to do, I think, with keeping the same people here doing the same thing, knowing what our customers want, you know, knowing yes. what they like. Um, whatever take we're going to do on that, what would work. Mm -hmm. and, the pre and the preparation's been consistent since the beginning because yeah. it's been the same kitchen. Yeah. So. And I, like, I've been here back in 1999 when it uh, first kind of opened and um, I was amazed then, I'm still amazed now, you know, uh, with, with the success and, and uh, I don't know, just you're very inspiring. Just let me, let me put that on record right now. <laughs> you guys are very inspiring to Thank me you. and hopefully to uh, my, my, the people that are watching right now, that um, it's, it's, you gotta come here. <laughs> well, that's not, that, you. not that they really need you to come here, but they, of you know. Of course we do. Yes, we need everybody. <laughs> you always need customers. Okay, we well, want everybody here. But that's really, really a huge compliment, yeah. and that's a very nice thing to say. But you, you talked about spirits and, you know, being blessed and stuff. It's so funny because we have said oftentimes, I mean, there are times when, you know, the economy kind of goes down or there's something happens or goes on here. And, and we're like, God, we're still here. Yeah. Why? Why? And we sit around, look at the pictures and we're like, you're the reason why. <laughs> you are here You're watching You are watching. Us. You are yeah. taking care of us. But yeah. I mean, sounds kind of strange, but well, oh, really, so seriously. Let, let people know what this, the pictures, what, the, what you mean by the pictures. Um, uh, so there are pictures that my grandmother gave us. They're family pictures. Everybody on the wall is related to us. Um, they date back to the 1800s. Um, this is actually, my great grandmother is in this car. She's in the front seat driving the car. But um, all the pictures are, are special. This, the one behind you, which is all the way behind you, and if you get a chance to look at it, it's actually a woman that was born a slave and died a free woman. And that's my favorite picture in the place. Yeah. But they're all special. They're yeah. All, yeah. Is there anything else that we want, might want to know about the kingfish or... Um... I hope um, the people watching yeah. will come and, and, and um, have a little taste of you know, the food yeah. and the experience. Yeah. And, and one of us is always time. here. We'd we're love to see her. Yeah. So, we're yeah. always so that's Leslie and Lori. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got it right. Yes, you did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we're at the Kingfish, and it's been great. And thank you so much for letting us thank join you, you yeah. and, and oh, get yeah. to know you much better. So now when 
people come in, they'll go, oh, there's Leslie and there's yeah, Lori. Yeah. Or is that Lori or is that Leslie? Yeah, and that's oh, totally that's, okay. We've yeah. had that all our lives. We answer yeah. to both. Yeah. The, the twins. Yeah. yeah, people are like, Lori, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know. Yeah, they don't. <laughs> it doesn't matter. So you guys need to come down and try this. You're going to really, really like it. It's very, very delicious. Thanks for being with me today on Big Eat Small Spots. Had a great time on Capitol Hill at the Kingfish and the B&O Espresso. So join me next time on Big Eat Small Spots.